Thank you, God. Send the glory. Simple, I give you. Lord, I give Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. Good morning to each and every one of you. We thank you so much for coming into the virtual tabernacle of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress. As you take this moment to like and to share, um, send notifications to everyone, and let them know that Dr. Lee and the Fortress is on of bringing you this early morning worship experience to get your Sunday morning started. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, a Sunday that the Lord has made, one that we've never seen before, never seen this Sunday before, and after today we'll never see it again. So let's make the best of it and let us start off uh, by sharing the Word of God to get you know you motivated and to get you going uh, for the rest of the week. Take this moment if you have any prayer requests, concerns, Thank you for those of us uh, that are joining us that continuously inbox your prayer requests and your prayer concerns. Do know um, that we're touching and agreeing with you spiritually in prayer. All right, let us give our morning man of prayer. We thank you for this opportunity, dear Lord, for uh, last night's rest did not end in judgment. And early this morning, you touched us with a finger of love. Our eyes came open and we beheld a brand new created day. Now, as we go forth, um, into our various um, occupations and situations of the day. Allow us, God, to have a word that will push us and thrust us um, and compel us um, to be the best version of ourselves on this day and the days that are to come. We thank you uh, for all of those that are uh, watching, that are sharing, and as we go Lord, further, that the words that will go forth, will be pleasing and acceptable, that it will be powerful and positive, and that you will allow us to decrease, that you may increase uh, in us, through us, with us, and for us. Bless us, strengthen us, and keep us. This we ask in the sign of the cross, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, let every heart say amen, amen, amen. In the midst of all that is going on um, around us, uh, that it appears that there is only one type of news, and it is bad news, um, that we hear uh, wars and rumors of wars, uh, turf wars locally, uh, political wars um, regionally, uh, and worldwide wars globally. Scripture talks about that we will live in a day and a time where there will be wars and even rumors of wars. And these are times in which we are living. And so, as we do not desire to focus on all of those things which are uh, contrary to positive thought and positive speech, um, we want to share um, some comfort this morning in that um, to know um, that we, you and I, me and you, we have um, a consolation, our consolation, um, a consolation that is spiritual, that is above and beyond time, um, that is not rele relegated or confined to what is going on around us. Our consolation, that's what we want to talk about, consolation, um, that I'm always reminded uh, when I hear the, uh, the word consolation, that when Christ was uh, coming forth into the world, um, that uh, they believed that he was called the consolation of Israel. And so even today, um, it's not just the consolation of the USA or the consolation of North America, but uh, the consolation of the world. And, and beyond his life, but uh, the spirit of Christ, the love of Christ, the, the morality, the integrity of what it means to love thy neighbor as thyself, is where we will find our consolation. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 7 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, um, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation 
also abounds through Christ. Now, if we are afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast because we know that as you are partakers of these sufferings, so also you will be partakers of the consolation. Um, this word that we're using this morning, um, a quick glance through the internet offers various definitions and explanations of the word consolation. Uh, whether it's consolation, consolement, solace, um, other familiar words, comfort, uh, and even to a certain extent, compassion, are terms referring to psychological comfort given to someone who has suffered severe upsetting loss, such as the death of a loved one, um, or other events that would be traumatic to that individual. It is typically provided by expressing shared regret for that loss and highlighting um, the hope, which is key, uh, for positive events in the future. Um, that consolation has two parts, uh, that um, there is a sense of empathy that we join in solidarity with the person that is suffering some type of loss or or have some type of uh, negative event that is taking place, but also in the solidarity of the empathy, we are also um, providing a sense of hope that things are going to get better. Um, we hear and you know and repeat the words of uh, Bishop Larry Trotter often that what's to come is better than what has been. Do you believe that? Um, as you just take this moment that whatever we are dealing with even as a world and as a nation, even from where we were this time last year, if you can remember, um, do you believe um, that there are some better things that are coming on the horizon? That, what are you saying? Do you have hope um, that where we are today is not going to be the same place we're going to be this time next year or even some months from now? Um, that even as we've looked back uh, over this past year, um, God has been good. So if you have hope, I want you to type that in. And that's, that's what consolation is. Um, that yes, we've joined each other um, in uh, the uh, fellowship of the sufferings that we've all had to endure in some form or another, yet uh, we're able to console one another in providing that there will be positive events for and in the future. As a people of faith, we have no cause you know, or reason to become alarmed over this present world and, and how it treats us. Um, for we have something that this world didn't give us. And how many know that we have something that this world cannot take away from us? What is consolation? Um, if we do some scriptural calisthenics, Revelation 21 and 27 states that uh, our name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. What is consolation? Uh, Romans 8, 28 says that uh, sooner or later all things work together for good to them that love God. What is lead consolation? Philippians 4, 13 says uh, that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. What is consolation? Romans 5, 20 says that where sin doth abound, grace did abound much more. Uh, Romans 8.37 uh, says that uh, consoling scripture that we are more than conquerors uh, through Christ who loves us. Uh, what is consolation? Psalm 30 and 5 uh, states that weeping may endure for a night, but joy still comes in the morning. What? can be consoling about this. Romans 8, 30, 39 says uh, that I'm persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels or principalities, powers nor things present, things that come height, death or any living creature, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Oh yes, uh, we have wonderful examples of what consolation is in the word of God. Um, if you didn't know any of those scriptures, what about uh, Psalm 23? Those of us who don't go to church know that the Lord is my shepherd. 
and I don't have to want for nothing. What about Psalm 34 and 7 when he says that the angels of the Lord are encamped around the saints? Um, didn't stop there. Let's go to Psalm 34, 18. That says that the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Uh, let's tiptoe over to Psalm 46 and 1. That says that the Lord is a very present help. Uh, when we are in trouble. Uh, let's skip over to Psalm 103.12 that says that as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. And Psalm 145 and 8, and you can put your foot down right there, that says that the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, that he is slow to anger and is of great mercy. Um, there's a wonderful hymn of the church that the old saints would sing from long ago, and it says, Come ye uh, disconsolate, wherever ye languish. Come to the mercy seat, fervently kneel. Here bring your wounded hearts. Here tell your anguish. Because earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Verse 2 says, Joy of the comfortless, light of the straying, hope of the penitent, faithless and pure. Here speaks the comforter. And what is he saying, Pastor? He's tenderly saying, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot cure. Oh, verse three says, here see the bread of life. See the waters flowing. Forth from the throne of God, pure from above. Come, my brothers and sisters, to the feast of love. Come ever knowing. What is it? The consolation is this. That earth, where we live, has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And that is our consolation. Remember, what is to come is better than what has ever been. And because we know that our consolation uh, is the consolation of Israel, the Messiah, the Christ. Repeat these words with us. Dear Lord, I am a sinner. And I'm asking you today to become the head of my life. Please forgive me from all of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me. And three days later, you were raised from the grave. And because I believe today, I am saved. Now, Lord, please fill me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, type in, I'm saved. Blessings to each and every one of you. That today, you have felt the spirit of our consolation. Now, join us as you see and hear the sights and sounds of St. John the Mighty. Uh, blessings to each and every one of you um, that as you have now been able to share uh, in the sights and sounds, we do ask um, that especially this morning you take a moment uh, to share uh, this wonderful message of consolation. Somebody needs to hear something positive and something uplifting, something encouraging. Uh, how many of us are just sick and tired of being sick and tired. I see some of you got your feet up also. Um, that it is a time and a season where we want to be uplifted. Um, we want uh, to think about and be brought to our higher self. 
And the only way we can do that is to provide hope. And sometimes we, me and you, we have to hope against hope. Let us now share uh, in the 3T ministry, the time, the talent, and the tithe, as you have been, of St. John the Mighty Fortress. There are several ways to give to support the ministries of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress, your time, talent, and tithe. We've made virtual giving so easy. Just text St. John SAV to 73256 and follow the prompts. That's St. John SAV 73256 and follow the prompts. Or you can call the number right on your screen to speak to someone and give your credit card information. 912-844-1872. That's 912-844-1872. Or feel free to mail in your cash, donations, and tithes to St. John Baptist Church, The Mighty Fortress, 2415 Eastern Avenue, Savannah, Georgia, 31406. And to give your time and talent or to find out more information on everything going on at St. John the Mighty Fortress, including our virtual worship experiences, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Periscope. Or go to stjohnsavannah.org. So we're grateful uh, to God for allowing us this opportunity to share with you uh, the consolation of Israel, our consolation. Um, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, uh, the same one. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of the pieces upon him, and with his stripes, every stripe, we are healed. Uh, that as we hear him and as we hear even the prophet uh, saying, uh, calling his name, uh, mighty God, everlasting counselor, the Prince of Peace, uh, that the government should even be upon his shoulders. Oh, his name is wonderful. Uh, and if it wasn't, uh, at the end of this, we would start off in a song. Um, but we don't want to mess up y'all's morning because y'all get happy right where you are. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. So be uh, comforted and be consoled and let us comfort each other with these words. Amen. That the God of peace and love will be upon and with each and every one of you. And to continue to receive consolation and positivity, join us every morning for Mighty Fortress Moments as well as uh, join us on Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock uh, right on WSOK iHeartRadio um, as we share in traditional uh, broadcast of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress. Uh, then right at 7.30, uh, meet us back here for Thoughtful Tuesdays. And now as we are preparing uh, here on the beautiful campus, uh, 2415 East Darren Avenue, our midtime campus of uh, St. John the Mighty Fortress, the soul of Savannah. Our 10 a.m. drive-in worship. Uh, please come as you are in the family car. Bring um, your cheer. You're now able uh, to sit outside your vehicle um, and to worship and socially distance um, as you desire, as you enjoy um, uh, yourself and the assemblage of others worshiping the Lord and the beauty of His holiness, which is creation. And so until we come back together again, um, remember uh, these uh, words of consolation. Look beyond your disabilities and see all the possibilities and make all those possibilities realities in your life. Well, the consoling fact is God will give you as far as you can see. Don't you ever doubt him. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. And remember, all is well. Thank you, God. Send the glory. I give you glory. It's simple, I give you glory.